Hello everybody and welcome back to Andrew's Lumber. A uh, little di different atmosphere here. Um, that is because it is coming a flood. And I and I mean a flood. Uh, I looked at uh, our county sent out like a weather alert ordeal and uh, they said we could get up to 16 inches of rain. That's a lot of rain. At least it ain't snow. <laughs> what is it? 16 inches of rain and be well, how many? 10 to 1, I think. 10 to 1. It'd be 160, 160 wow. inches. Be. Well, that's too much snow. <laughs> but anyway, it is coming to flood. Uh, they got uh, something hitting the coast down there and it's a it's a dumping out on us. So we're going to be in the shop for uh, about a week. So, <laughs> which that's all right. It works out good. Rainy days don't bother us one bit. We get to just come in the shop and work. So we are fortunate. We can work rainy days and sunny days. So uh, we got some stuff already filmed up, I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, we're going to put on for you. But uh, let's see, what is it? Sawing a wah, sawing some wahoos. A neighbor over here needed a few pieces. So he needed a few that he didn't care what they was out of. And we had a few just scraggly old wahoos laying out there so we just used them up mm. what, four or six four or sixes yeah that's been a while back we've been holding it a little while <laughs> but uh anyway and then uh we're gonna level up the sawmill the laser level here uh our friends at sigma sent us a laser level that's what I... the first thing whenever i got it out of the box it comes in a super 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 nice foam inserted box and that is handy uh, it's nice it keeps everything protected uh, comes with a few other things here first thing I pull out here is a charging cord uh, a charge on this level will last up to 24 hours 24 hours to 54 hours depending on your laser light brightness um, then it comes with a target here and a few different stands uh, i like this stand here uh, like i say this turn dial turns the laser and it's got these little feet that you can screw in and out level up your laser um, it's auto leveling no way. it's auto leveling to a certain extent and it'll let you know whenever it ain't level it'll start flashing at you and uh, this little magnetic clip here like i say you'll see all this used out here in a minute uh just going over it. Um, the laser, it's got a green laser. It is a lot brighter than a red laser. Um, it shows up a whole lot better. Uh, does good. And what had it out there, I mean, it was raining. Rain didn't bother. It worked out good. It just really, really good. I like it. It's a, uh, we, I mean, like I say, we work on a lot of different sawmills on the road quite a bit. and. I definitely think I'm gonna put it in the truck and start taking it with me. Uh, just, oh, it's, yeah, be handy too. Like, just like, I mean, we kind of like, whenever you're on the troubleshooting page, I mean, troubleshooting can be anything. I mean, it can just go from simple to complex, and a simple thing that a lot of people overlook is if the track's straight. It's just, you know, it's just a thing that gets overlooked pretty often. and. I think about the first thing I'm gonna start doing is putting this on it just to <laughs> make sure. But uh, yeah, the Sigma level. Uh, so far, what we've used it, I've been really impressed. Uh, it's been doing, it's been doing good. Like I said, it comes in such a nice case. I mean, the case is wonderful. Uh, and that right there says a whole lot about a company and just how they package stuff. Um, but the Sigma level, like I say, you're gonna see. Uh, shooting it up a little out here and um, so far really like it uh, we're definitely gonna be using it more and uh, we're gonna have another video going more in depth on it uh, that's just a, a quick on a prettier day on a prettier day we'll do a whole lot more in depth to it we need um, to take that carriage off yeah we need to actually bring it in here we uh, need to work on our carriage a little bit anyway so we might take yeah, that off and it bring it in here to really on. go in depth yeah um yeah, our carriage, it's been a, I love that carriage. It's a, it's been a good, it's 
been good, but it's just need some tune-ups. Um, but uh, anyway, apart from all of that, the Paul Bunyan show is coming up, and we're gonna go. Uh, we plan on being there. Uh, that's we're thinking we're gonna leave here Thursday. Uh, we're still arguing on when to leave Thursday. Uh, I got class on Thursday from eight to twelve, and. We're thinking about if I should miss class or go to class, depending on what I'm doing at class. Uh, so, we're gonna leave Thursday anyway. We're gonna be there Friday, Saturday. We might be there a little on Sunday. So, it's about seven hours from here. It's a pretty good little haul. Um, that's, we're gonna go up there and hang out with some of our friends. Uh, but, uh, Mark Galici, we've been talking to him some. He's gonna be there for sure. Hey, yeah, John Clark. Buzzing, yeah. Yeah. Rick and Jeep. The best part will be uh, Shannon Burns there at Temple Hill. Mm -hmm. He got a really good channel. We talked to him pretty often. He's wanting to buy us dinner. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that'll be probably a good part there. It'll be, I don't know if he's going to maybe three or four days. That's what I, that's what that's I what understood. I that's what yeah. I was thinking. He's going to buy our dinner off right. over there, which. I thought he said something about steak. I don't know if that's three meals a day. Uh, or well, what he's gonna do? But three meals usually don't cover me for a day. I usually eat more yeah, than three meals. Say, it won't be too bad on me, but when he feeds Andrew a couple of times, he may he may back out there after that. But yeah, I tell you, yeah. No, he's a good guy. Oh he's, yeah, Shannon, he's great. Yeah, he's got a great channel for sure. Go check him out, Temple Hill. Yeah, Sawmill. Enjoy him, guys. Mark. Oh yeah, Mark yeah, Legion. He's, he's a yeah, he's, they're nice. They are. They're. They're all gonna be up there hanging out, so. Nathan, I think's gonna be Nathan, there from out of the woods. Yeah. Yeah, Nathan, I think they, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. There'll be a lot of people there. Oh, there'll so. be a lot of people there. So, we'll come on up. Yeah, music. if you see us walking around, don't be shy. Uh, yeah, run us down. Come, yeah, run us down, talk to us. Uh, I mean, that's what we going up there to look at some equipment and talk to people. So, and uh, like I say, just a further must, make sure to go by. John Clark and Mark Galici, they got a booth up there. Uh, make sure to go by, talk to them, and just we're gonna be there. Hopefully, it'll be a good show. When John's getting another saw ready to sign, yeah, he's excited for that. That's nice. That's not to read me. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, what is this? Our third, second, third, third year. Third time. Third guess, year yeah. we've been up there, and uh, we keep going back. Yeah, we enjoy it's, that. It's gotcha. a good. It's it's our vacation. Um, <laughs> it is. It's, it makes a great show. Um, so we're gonna be there. And uh, whew. yeah, it's a it's a rainy rough day here. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it is it's flooding. It's rain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got plenty to do in here though. Oh yeah, that's what I we probably got. Oh, oof. Ten or twelve cells to work on this. Yeah, and we're working on a wreck right now, welding some shoulders back on, and that takes a little while. Um, it's a little time consuming. Uh, it is, so. Yeah, I'm, this is gonna be our exit too. So, the intro exit, and we're gonna put some videos on there for you to watch, and I guess that's it. Uh, We'll hopefully see y'all at the Paul Bunyan show. Okay, everybody, uh, we got this here Sigmund laser level out here. I'm gonna go, we're gonna level up the track a little bit or make sure it ain't crooked. Uh, it's a pretty important part of saw milling. Uh, I mean, you more usually, I mean, a lot of tracks are out of level, and I mean, that will cause it to cook, cut crooked. So, I mean, that is an important fact. So we're just gonna show you how to do a little bit of it here with this here level. But right here's a target they send you. Got a magnetic end on it. So, uh, we're gonna do the off bearing half right now. And uh, everybody says, you know, take the carriage off, shoot it all at once. You can do that, uh, but I'll show you here in a minute. We leave the carriage on it and do it in two different pieces. And I'll just, it'll all tie in together here in a minute. But uh, I'm gonna take this target. I'm gonna set it right here. This center line I'm gonna put right here in the middle of the track. 
right there. And then we'll go down here to the see we'll go down here to the other end and it'll yeah. But it's a terrible nasty day out here today. Uh we actually need to be solid, but it's okay. We we got a we got a hurricane or a tropical storm or something coming in Florida down there and it's dumping a bunch of rain on us. So for this first one I'm gonna we're gonna use this little platform and uh it just screws in there. And I got a little block of wood right here. Uh a lot of people wanna shoot it back here and shoot the whole line and that's that's fine, but I just set it right here on top. Right on top of this block of wood, turn it on, get my vertical line going here. And uh, well, this little dial right here turns this laser, and it's like I say, it's shooting right on top of this. I'll take this from I'll take this from Dad here, but right here, I don't know how well this camera will pick it up, but down there on that target, we're just gonna. I don't know if y'all can. I don't know if y'all can ever see that hitting that target or not, but we got it lined up in the middle of the target. And then right here we are. That really don't show up good on the camera, does it? Shows up good on my leg. Uh, but, all right, yeah, you can see it a little bit right there. And it, we're shooting on that target over there, which the off bearing end is, I wonder if I can move it off that target. You can see it. Here, you turn that little dial. I'm gonna go up here and stand so I can watch it shooting off the target here. But right there, it's moving on the target. So we just line it up right there, and like I say, it's all right through there. Everything uh, for the most part, this here is good. Which now. Like I say, the off-bearing end don't get the beating that the Sawyer's end does with the logs and everything. Uh, loading logs and stuff will really get one out of whack uh, quickly. But right here's a simple way, and then if you're going to do it, same thing on the other end. Or on this side of it, I mean. And then if you really wanted to get it, you could set a horizontal, make sure you ain't got no dips in it. Uh, and we probably are going to do that uh, later for sure. Because it does need to be leveled up. Uh, I'm trying to think. Last time we checked it, what? Probably a year or so ago. And it's always good to keep a check on it for sure. But right there's one way to do it, and we're gonna show you another way right here. Okay, everybody. Uh, this right here is another way to do it, and this is why we're gonna leave the carriage on. Uh, like I say, this here's got a magnetic clip, and I have like to clip it right on the carriage and shoot half of the track and then roll the carriage down clip it on shoot the rest of it um, this mill in particular has got three 15 foot sections of track so I mean I like to do it just a section a section a section and then like I say at the end you might tie it all together just to make sure um, but right here whenever we put this down we put these boards in it with nails that you can pull right up and move the track if we need to um, I know we go to a lot of big mills and they've got track adjustment bolts like ever foot or something. I mean, they really adjust. But I like to do it just short, sweet, move on to the next piece and just, I don't like to do it all at once. Uh, it can get to be a job. But here's another way I like to do it. Um, the Sigmund level with the magnetic clip right there is... Honestly, probably the best thing I've ever seen for doing it just like this, but I take my target I'm putting it at the end of the track this time Put it right there at the end and then I take the Sigmund level here put it on a magnetic clip and Screw it on here this thing it always confuses me. We'll get it now. I go over here to the carriage side And I I just clip it right here on the front of the carriage. Okay. Turn it on. Let's see, 
you gotta come over a little bit. Okay. Okay, right there we are hitting the target down there. Let's see. Right here you can see it good. But I like to just clip it right here on the front. And then like I say, right there's that laser going all the way down through there. The camera really don't pick it up as good as it's showing. Um, but you can see it on that track just, I mean, you can see it good. But I really like to clip it. You now like I say, you can just, I mean, you can see it hitting that wheel there. And right there, you see it's already, I mean, it's hitting back here and everything too. If you can, eh, camera don't, camera don't like to pick up. But, uh, like I say, you can roll that carriage down and then you can work on this side. And... You can just leave that laser there or switch ends with it. Um, but I really like to leave it on the carriage. Uh, I know like we go to mills and stuff. Um, just clip it on right there. And it's there. And you can just... I guess you could actually leave it right there and roll the carriage. And just watch it and make sure it don't veer off anywhere. Um, but that right there is the handiest thing ever. Um was talking about it see like right there whenever this laser gets out of level the line uh, just flashes and uh, so it's auto leveling to a certain extent um, but like I forget it tells in there what it auto levels to like out of level but you can always tell when you get it level it stops flashing and right there it's level Right there, it ain't level. Uh, very, very, very nice. But this is the, this is how I like to level up a sawmill. Uh, makes it very, very uh, user friendly, very easy to do. And I really, really like the, where you can put it right there on the front of the carriage. So, yeah.
decided to do an exit. You know, we kind of get a little, uh... Anyway, we decided to do an exit. Um, just uh, thanking everybody. Uh, definitely want to thank Sigmund here for sending us this level. Um, appreciate that a bunch. Um, like I say, y'all might want to check it out and get you one. Um, this is the uh, model CM-S01. Uh, they have a bunch of different models. And... Uh, they're nice. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really nice. Uh, it's got 164 foot of laser. Um, I can pick up 164 foot away. And I mean, that's for sawmills and stuff and track. And uh, it's great for alignment. Um, that's plenty of laser for a sawmill. Um, let's see, we got a 45 foot of track. So 100, that's, that's, um, for sawmills, that's, that's perfect. Um, does good. It's got a lot, like a lot of different adjustments on it here. Uh, you turn it on, it uh, blind you. It'll blind you. <laughs> um, Right here, and then you can start eliminating lasers and stuff. I don't know. Y'all can. Yeah. That and there's there. And then that, uh, then that too. That one's there. And, but anyway, you can get it to horizontal, vertical lasers and stuff. Um, but uh, it's really nice. Really bright. Really bright. Um, like I say, the auto leveling feature, it's great. I um, mean, you don't really have to worry about it being level. It'll tell you when it ain't level. And, uh, works out amazing um and like i say if it is out of level you put it on this little tripod here and you can you can put you can get it in level uh so level ain't no problem with the or if it's on a big tripod too yeah if well our camera's on it right now but uh it fits on the tripod the camera's on uh and you know we can get it up high low it's got a well that fits into there and then this fits into the tripod and uh so i mean really it's it's a great level uh we really appreciate them sending that to us um for sure yeah we'll be using that oh yeah that's what it's gonna go in the tool bag uh, yeah, yeah, we'll it'll be on the road with us for sure um so really appreciate that and uh like i say we're gonna be leaving for the paul bunny so let's see this video will come out on sunday so that Sunday's the what, the 20, 29th, 29th, I think. And then we're gonna be leaving on that Thursday and be right up there. So that's, hopefully they got a big turnaround. Hopefully we get to meet some of y'all. Uh, we love talking to you for sure. So if you see us, run us down. Um, now, I officially think that's it for this video. You think? Think anything else? I don't know. Probably. Probably. Um, we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna be like, dang, we should have said that. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. So, uh, oh, oh, not thought of something. Link in the description for the Sigmund Levels uh, description. Go check it out. Go to the website. It'll tell you all their different models and everything. Um, so check that out. See, forgot something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's so hard to think of stuff while you're sitting here under pressure. Um, okay, I think that's going to be it for this video. It's about 11.30. I'm going to go get some food. I take lunch from 11.30 to 2.30. I'm thinking from about 10 to 3. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch y'all later.